In this video, I'm going to show you how to account for an installment note. Now, an installment note is different from a typical note in that the borrower is paying down the principal, aka the face value of the note, in installments instead of repaying the entire principal at the end of the note when it matures. So you've got the borrower making these payments, let's say every month or every six months, every quarter, whatever, and a portion of the payments is going to go toward interest but the rest of the payment is gonna go toward reducing the principal of the loan, okay? So they're not just gonna have a huge lump sum at the end of the loan when it matures to repay the entire face value. They're gonna pay a little bit every period, okay? And now this is typically gonna be in an equal installment payment, meaning that it's the same amount every period. So it might be $50 every month, Okay, it doesn't have to be, but that's usually the case. So we're gonna to have to calculate this periodic payment. And we're gonna do that using this formula right here. So our installment payment is gonna be equal to the amount received by the borrower. So for example, if they receive $100,000, right, that when they issue the note. And then we're gonna divide it by this here, where R, okay, see that R? It's going to be the market rate of, uh, market rate of interest at the time the note is issued, and N is going to be the number of periods. Now, we're gonna do two examples. The first one, I'm gonna do an installment note that's issued at a discount because the market rate of interest and the stated rate of interest are different. And then we'll do a more basic example where we have a note that's just issued at par, okay? so. For this first example, the company Safe Toys, uh, they issue a three-year installment note with a face value of $1 million, and that is going to require semi-annual equal payments. So every six months, there's going to be a payment, and that payment needs to be the same amount every six months. So we have three years. Uh, this is happening every six months, so N is going to be equal to six. Okay, when we come back to this equation here, right, we're going to ask for N. That's gonna be equal to six because there's three years and twice a year we're doing it. And then our R is gonna be this market rate of interest divided by two, 5% or 0 0.05 in this formula. Now, we need to know the amount received by the borrower. The note's issued at a discount, so it's gonna be less than the $1 million face value. I've already calculated out, uh, you don't have to worry about that, $949,243. That's what the borrower is going to receive upfront for the note because again the stated rate of interest is actually lower than the market rate of interest at the time the note is issued so the note is issued at a discount i've got videos other videos talking about how i would calculate this figure but let's not worry about that that's not the main purpose of this particular video so when the note is issued the borrower is going to receive cash nine hundred forty nine thousand two hundred forty three dollars and then we're going to credit notes payable for nine hundred forty nine thousand two hundred forty three dollars now notice we did not create a separate account for a discount on notes payable, okay? Because we have the, the discount is the difference between the face value of 1 million and this 949,243. When you're, when you're doing like a bond, for example, bond issuance, bond pays interest semi-annually, typically you'd have a separate discount account. But here, we just netted it together with long-term notes. That, that's actually quite common where you don't track the, the discount and the premium and the amortization for those. So we're, we're gonna follow common practice here and we're just gonna have the, the note payable. Even though the face value is a million, uh, we have subtracted the discount for that. So we've got really the carrying value here, uh, the initial carrying value or book value of the note, 949,243. Okay. Now that's the journal entry to record the issuance of the note, but now we gotta figure out these payments. So I brought, this is the formula from before. I've just plugged in the numbers. The amount borrowed, 949,243. Okay, that's the amount received by the borrower. And then I plugged in 0 0.05, which is the market rate divided by two. And then I've got six, which is the number of periods, three years, semi-annual, three times two is six. Okay, that's where I got that number. So we end up 949,243 divided by this number right here, which is rounded, and we get an installment payment, $187,017. What does that mean? That means that there's gonna be six payments that the borrower's gonna to have to make, and we said there are gonna be equal payments. Every payment is gonna be for $187,017. And that will pay off the loan by the end of three years, okay? so. We've got here, here's a, an amortization table. And again, I don't have a column here for uh, the, the discount because we just knitted everything together. So we've got the initial book value or carrying value of the note, uh, 949,243. 
And so our payments are always gonna be the same. And there's six of them, three years, semi-annual. So we got six payments, 187,017. Now a portion of that, a portion of that is gonna be interest and a portion is going to be the reduction in the principal, the amount owed, the face value, okay? Now, how do we calculate this number right here for the interest expense, 47,462 for our first uh, interest date, our first payment date, okay, June 30th, we're gonna take the carrying value, multiply it by the market rate divided by two, which is 5% in this example. So 949,243 times 5% is equal to $47,462. Now, how did I get this number here? The reduction in principal. That is just the total payment, $187,017 minus the interest, Okay, the interest expense is the reduction in the principal. Now the reduction in the principal, we see the take the carrying value, subtract the reduction in the principal, we get the new carrying value. Take the new carrying value, multiply that by the market rate divided by two and you get the interest expense for the next period. And that's how we're doing it. And we just keep reducing the principal and eventually it gets to be where at the end, the, uh, the note has matured and it has been fully paid off. It's not some, oh, now the, the borrower has to go and pay a million dollars to pay this off. They've been paying off a little bit of the principal every six months. Now, I wanna show you a journal entry. So we'll do a journal entry for right here. Uh, we've already done the issuance of the note. So we'll do June 30th, 2024, the first payment date. We're gonna debit interest expense. Okay, this again is the borrower. The borrower is gonna debit interest expense, 47,462. Again, how did I get that number? Took the initial carrying value times the market rate divided by two, that gave me the interest expense. Then we took the total payment, subtracted the interest expense and got the reduction in principal. The reduction in principal, how do we record that? We are gonna debit notes payable for the amount of the reduction in principal. And you see that the interest expense plus the reduction in principal equals the amount of cash paid. Okay, that's the amount of the installment payment. Now, I wanna do another example the company has issued a three-year 6% installment note at par with annual payments of equal amount. So we have equal amounts every period, but this time it's annual payments instead of semi-annual. Let me blow this up, make it a little easier for you to see. So we've got three periods. Now I said the note was issued at par. So this time stated rate, market rate, identical. We do not have semi-annual interest payments. So we don't need to divide by two. We don't need to do anything like that. Uh, we've got the face value and then the amount received by the borrower are identical. Cause again, the installment note was issued at par. So this is a little simpler example. You don't have to make a bunch of adjustments cause the payments are made annually. There's no difference between the market rate and the stated rate. And you see here, we've got three payments of this amount. And I use that same formula uh, to calculate this. Only in that case, the N would be equal to three. Uh, the R would be a 0 0.06. You don't need to make an adjustment because it's not semi-annual. Okay, use that formula that I showed you before. You get this as the installment payment, $2,992,879. We take our carrying value, multiply that by the market rate, okay? And that gives us our interest expense for the period. Then the installment payment minus the interest is the reduction in principal. The reduction in principal reduces our carrying value and so forth. Now, let me show you here. There's a, these are the journal entries if you were curious of how this would all play out.